Hello again, this is Jordan coming at you live from the NVIDIA booth here at CES 2014. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some of the new technologies NVIDIA have come out with at this year's CES, specifically the K1 processor and all the fun little things that we can do with it, pushing 4K content, fracture, demo, tessellation, all the other fun stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're showing is the, the Tegra K1 reference tablet. Uh, this particular demo is uh, an internally uh, developed tech, tech demo called Fracture. Basically, it's an, it's an example of photorealistic rendering and physics. Um, what you can see uh, on the, the screen here is, is three glass pillars. We can adjust the light source in real time. Um, we can uh, you know, obviously adjust the angles and, and, and whatnot, but the, the, the key thing is the, is the physics implementation. I can break these individually. These, are all, they, these all break. Uh, dynamically, every time it's something different. Now I can see, as I, see, as I change the light source, moving it around, the, all the light refracts off them in a prison effect, just like you'd expect in a, in a, in a, same, in a broken glass. You put that back together, break them all, all at once. Uh, again, now we have huge chunks. It's all, it's different every time because it's all based on, on real physics. It's not, there's no, no, no art. It's done exactly the way you'd expect. If you break it at the bottom, it breaks there. You break it at the top, break it in the middle. Uh, Etc. So there's different types of lighting, uh, specular lighting, diffuse lighting. Again, you can change change how it looks. Uh, I'm really a fan of the specular lighting, so you can really see those reflections off the, the broken surfaces. So again, that's our our fracture demo, real photorealistic photorealistic rendering, and uh, and physics. Now we're back looking at uh, the, our FaceWorks demo. This is a, an example of what next generation uh, characters can be in in games and, and other things that are uh, re require digital representations. This is not a video, it's a full live render. You can basically move around, I can, you can zoom in. If you look at the, the uh, subsurface scattering on the skin, uh, very difficult to do. We'll change the lighting a little bit. Change the light sources. So you can see the shadows are all dynamically generated as well. You can see as the light comes from behind, he's got a little bit of a glow, a glow in his ear. Again, all the subsurface scattering on the on the ear is accurate. So this is a, a library that we put together for game developers. Basically, they can uh, implement and use these use these things to develop games, all of the, the mannerisms and, and whatnot. This is done in conjunction with uh, friends at USC. It's a research project where they've done this, this digital capture, and we've taken that data and and, and moved it down into a into a live set of libraries that are small, and easy to implement in, in uh, next generation gaming. This is our Tegra K1 reference platform. Uh, this is running the 32-bit version of Tegra K1, like the other the other demos that you've seen. Um, basically, what we're showing here is a decode of a 4K stream and an output to what could be an internal uh, display in a, in a laptop or a clamshell. Uh, this is a, um, a 4K 4K display uh, running at 60 FPS, and then we're outputting over HDMI to a 4K external display at 24 FPS. So we're decoding and streaming these two 4K uh, two 4K signals simultaneously. Great. So this is the the living room scene from um, from Epic's Unreal Engine 4. Basically, the Epic wanted to uh, create a photorealistic uh, opportunity to, for developers to build into their games rather than just having you know beautiful textures. They wanted to give them the opportunity of creating photorealistic textures. This is a living room scene. That uh, all of the, the materials and lighting are just what you'd expect to see. All of the, the lighting, uh, the global illumination is right. The, the light sources uh, work, or the light uh, reflects off each of the surface as it would, be given its the, the properties of that texture. And let's just take a look at the uh, take a look at the, the, the this leather here. Oops, hold on. That's the grain of the leather, right? That looks like soft, nice soft leather. Let's walk over here a little bit. Take a look at the wood floor. Again, the lighting is light is reflecting off the wood floor, just as you expect the lighting to work. You've got the grain in the wood. You've got the splits between the boards. All of it, you know, just exactly the way you'd expect it to be in a, in a, in a live scene. Reflect the orange peel and the in the, in the lacquer coating even is is done exactly as, as you'd expect. So this is um, you know this is really going to change the open up a lot of opportunities and change the landscape for, for mobile developers, uh, actually game developers overall. 
Uh, this is, as I said, this is Unreal Engine 4. This runs on high-end PCs, it runs on Xbox One, it runs on PlayStation 4, and it runs on Tegra K1. All right, so we learned an awful lot from this. We got a lot of great information out of the guys from NVIDIA, so thank you so much to NVIDIA for helping us out here, for giving us this information, making it so easy to find out what's going on, what's coming out this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. Thanks for watching again, though, and I will see you again next time.